The, the reason your flesh is not as strong as diamond, even though it's both made out of carbon, proteins are made of strings of amino acids and the backbones connect the proteins into one long chain. Those bonds are the same kind of covalent bonds that are like not that much weaker than diamond bonds, but then they fold up and they fold up in a way that's kind of driven by static clade. When you're doing the thing where they fold up with a bunch of weak folds, you can poke the protein structure and have it just folded up into a different protein at random. And sometimes the new things you build at random are useful. When you build stuff that's like really tightly held together, it's harder to poke around in the design space. All the bonds are gonna like crunch it together and make it do something that is the same thing the previous thing did or is too weird or isn't gonna work. If you try to do basic physical calculations on what could happen if you had an analogy of biology where instead of stuff being a bunch of accidents that worked, natural selection, random mutations that happen to confer fitness advantages, if you ask like, what if we used more covalent bonds, which we could do because we were designing everything on purpose? It's not a mosquito anymore. It's a mosquito made out of diamond. The little algae cell that reproduces itself out of mostly air using sunlight Maybe you've got the algae cell that is harder than that, more resistant to any natural predators than that, reproduces itself entirely out of air, it doesn't need to be immersed in the water. Using sunlight, self-replicates, sky goes black, everybody falls over dead. And that is like getting into the region of what it is actually like to lose to superintelligence.